TFNN Headline News Update Here's Tom O'Brien Welcome folks, we had the Dow Industrials finish down 142, NASDAQ up 5, S&P's down 7.5, gold contract up $7.60 trading at 13.14 an ounce, you had silver up 13 cents, $15.50 an ounce, light sweet crude up 80 cents, $59.83 a barrel, you had the oil numbers come out this morning folks, monster down, uh, uh, drawdown at 9.5 million barrels, and yeah, you're up, you hit the $60 level, but guess what? Oil should have got a lot more traction than that. Uh, they were expecting a build of 1.5 million barrels, and they got a drawdown of 9.5, and it could only do 83 cents. Notes and bonds, folks, that's the story out here. You get the 10-year note up 22 ticks, 123.14, 30-year up one point plus eight ticks, 147.01. You get the 30-year, uh, the 10-year, folks, right into the highs from January Third, and it looks like it's going to be an ABC structure on the way up, which will take us to 127. And today, this is the, we go back the last 12 months, this is the low of the last 12 months, 2.528. That's what we're closing out at on the 10-year. That's saying that mortgage rates, in the high for the year, by the way, folks, uh, is 3.2. So you can see we're down 7 tenths of 1% off the high. And, of course, we had the Fed meeting out here today. Uh, Powell, the Fed, dovish beyond belief. Bottom line, they said flat out they're not going up for all of 2019. That means rates are going up. They're saying that they are going to go up once in 2020. But guess what? Here's the stat on that. The stat on that, since 1970, they've said that three times, and both, all three times, instead of going up after they've not raised rates for a year, the next rate cut went down. You know, of course, you know, things can change. We, we're in a market, but bottom line, the stat at this particular point since 1970 is that when they leave rates flat for a full year, your next rate is down versus up. King dollar. King dollar uh, down uh, 496 ticks. King dollar got some traction on the way down. We're at 95, 335. Uh, we'll see whether we get any follow through. This king dollar, this has been battling the, between the bulls and the bears out here since October 24th. You got the volume today. You broke the swing point today. King dollar looks like it's going to make its way down to 94, 150. You're at 95, 335. Stay right there, folks. Numbers coming up. After the close, to recap, we had the Dow Industrials down 142, NASDAQ up 5, S&P's down 9.5, coming right back.